Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here to day number 16 of this current series where I visit and focus on notable Southern California eating establishments. I'm gonna head up to Alhambra. I'm inviting you to join me. Shall you? Got my glasses, get in my bag. Let's go. You're right, Big the Foot, that is a little tiny vehicle. You wanna drive it? Located on the corner of Valley Boulevard. And Garfield Ave. It is a classic establishment. One that I have wanted to visit for quite a while. Highly recommended by many folks. And it's finally happening. The best pastrami sandwich in the world. I love that old neon. Got its name because of the chef's hat. It's up there on the classic signage. Looks as if currently cannot sit in the dining area. There is no indoor section. It's all, it's all in the exterior, open air. A little taped off. Stated here, just good food. Not only the pastrami dip, which is what they are known for, but also have hot dogs and burgers as well. This is the original, the very first. They do have other locations, but this is the one that started it all back in 1951. Classic. It does say dine-in. However, around the back, not really appearing as if that's possible to find a park nearby. Down on the floor, they have the stickers, the markers. They love the checkerboard. I'm gonna go with a win in Rome moment. Pretty much the classic. This is the menu board featuring the world's famous, or featuring the world famous pastrami dip for $10.79, but they also have cold sandwiches, side orders like chili fries, an assortment of, oh my goodness, look at this. I recently tried this about a week or two ago for the first time, the orange bang. I'm gonna get one, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get myself an orange bang. And the classic pastrami dip, don't mind if I do. take too long to get my food. Not long at all. It took maybe a minute or two, if that, maybe like 40, 45 seconds. It's quick. I didn't, count, I didn't count it down. I didn't have a timer on, but very fast service. Granted, there's not a lot of people here, but very, very quick. I didn't have to be patient at all. They just brought it right out, prepared it, serviced with a smile, and quickly. Intersection is rather busy. Two thoroughfares with a lot of traffic. A listing of some of the other spots that they have. They've branched off on the cup here. It's a decent size, decent size portion. And I didn't get any other, I didn't get any fries or anything. I just got the sandwich itself, which is right inside there. And as stated, I'm not gonna be able to sit here and eat. Let's go find somewhere. Also should point out there is 30 minute parking so if you drive, you will have a place to find a spot for 30 minutes while you, while you order and while you eat. Nice perspective of the mountain up there. Just down the ways a bit, about a, like I was saying, just about a mile is Al Manser 
park and there's plenty of spots for my vehicle. Time to eat. Got a sweet little setup here. In the back of my trunk I had the, it's like a rocking chair. It's a, I used to have these when I had my RV stored. I had two of them. So now I carry them around in my car and can use it whatever. Because there's a couple of picnic tables out here, but they're filled up. There's quite a few people out here. And the picnic tables are accounted for, so at least I have a seat. Nice view of a baseball field. Got my spot. Did not include any plastic cutlery, but not gonna need it because it's a sandwich. I did put in a straw, a few napkins, and the total was $15.20. Just the basics. Shifted where I was sitting just a bit. I was about five or 10 yards that way, but a, a, a lawn care maintenance guy has backed his truck up behind where I was. So the, the view by be doing this, this style, all you would have seen was a landscaping mobile. This is a little more decorative anyway. I should also, also say that there are picnic tables. I was stating how all the picnic tables were filled up. There are two over there that are not filled up but they're directly in the sun where this has a nice little shade tree area. That is good. That is so good. I kind of, kind of regret not hearing about this particular drink before, before I've gotten to my current age because this is good. Some compare it to other establishments, which I have had, but it seems like it has its own, the Orange Bang has its own taste. I like it a lot, and I'm glad that, I'm glad that it filled this cup up nicely. And this is what we're, de it's upside down. This is what, wait, that's upside down too. What the, this is what we're deal is very, it's got some weight to it. There's a lot going on inside this wrapping. The hat, since 1951, world famous pastrami. But don't forget about the burgers, the dogs, and the chili, which I am not gonna be trying at this moment. Maybe another time. But I had to go with what they are noted for. Yeah, it's heavy. That's a lot, there's a lot to this. The unwrapping has begun. Okay, there's one wrap. Okay, there's just one wrap here. Okay, flip this over. Okay, wind is blowing just a little bit. Whoop, we got a little sample. Got a little sample there. Should I? Should I go with that first? Oh my gosh, that's good. It's peeking out there just a little bit. Unpeeling. Oh, what in the heck? Look at this thing. That's what I'm talking about. It smells so dang good. That's a meal. Okay, they didn't cut it. I should have asked them to cut it so I could have saved a little bit for later. Wow. Yeah, if I would have sliced it in half, that might have been... Okay, I, I kind of pulled it apart a little bit, and they did, they did slice it down the middle. Even, but I did not get, I did not get any fries or chips. I don't even know if they serve chips, but I didn't get anything other than the sandwich. So maybe I could polish off this all in one. It's falling apart. I should get to eating. This is most likely going to be messy because <laughs> I don't have a tray table. It's going to be messy. It's going, it's going to, it's going to probably fall all over my torso, but. Mmm. Mmm. Mustard, pickles, the appropriate amount. I like both mustard and pickles, and they are very prevalent in the flavor of this. It's more or less like the perfect amount of... The perfect amount of... I'm just like, I'm drawing a blank. The taste is so good. But you got all the pastrami sandwich falling out of the bread. But then you also got pickles and mustard down in there. Okay, it is 
it is a real mess. But it's so dang tasty. There's a dog back there. Want some? Hindsight. Should have asked for a should have asked for a fork. I can see why this place is talked about and has lasted as long as it has. Mm. Only my straw sleeve down in the bottom there. Yeah. For future reference, ask for a fork or a spoon. Or, you know, I guess a fork would make more sense. Scoop it up a little bit better. You can always eat it with your fingers, though. Gives a chance to really see its ingredients, however. This is a conglomeration of, of flavor. Wow. So this is the, the other half I haven't, I haven't put in my belly yet. So underneath all that is that mustard. I don't see the mustard. I guess it's kind of blended in now. But underneath there would be pickles. Oh, here we go. Right there you can see kind of protruding out as a pickle. If you like mustard and if you like pickles, if that is not your forte, then this might not be for you. Of course, you could ask for it without, but I, for me, it, it's like just a perfect combination of everything between two pieces of bread. So much going on, in fact, that it is, it's, it's wrapped up in not one, not two, but three, maybe even four, look at this, four four pieces of paper to keep it keep it secure of course once it's unwrapped you're on your own I could probably finish off the rest of this in one sitting but I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt to wrap this thing back up and have this for a little whoop oh, it's starting to oh gosh let me wrap this a little bit better all back nice and neat and it's paper bag style lunch 65 years well back in 2016 it celebrated 65 years opened in 1951 so I got some leftovers from doing these this series of you know kind of makeshift food reviews I am not a food reviewer by any means but I do like to eat and I like history of places iconic notable spots so I'm kind of mixing the two up but I don't want to overdo it. So I'm going to taper back a little bit on the portions. So that's why I did not get fries or any dessert. Just the classic sandwich that everyone knows and loves from the hat. And I only ate half of it. I had even considered maybe getting a, a water, you know, instead of a soda. I'd probably start cutting back, cutting back on soda. For a long time, I didn't drink soda, but it's, you know, when you're out and about, Especially when you're eating out, it's very tempting to just get a, a cola, a pop, depending on what area of the country you're from, how you refer to it. So I'm thinking as this continues, if this series continues for unbeknownst amount of days, I might start getting something that's a little less cola driven, but I could not pass up on this. This might technically probably be worse than cola, but... You can't get this everywhere. Mm. Mm -hmm. But I do like the way this series is going. I'm starting to learn my way around the greater Los Angeles and Orange County area better than I ever had because everything's so spread out. Oh, what's this? What is up in there? I see you. A little bug. Wanted so I should wrap this up a little better. So it's a good trade off to continue this, but. You know, not gorge myself each and every day. I think it'll work. And who knows, maybe even some extreme healthy options in places that serve those type of items. Don't, don't, I'm making any promises, but you never know. You never know how things will progress. Give a little more perspective 
where I was having a little camping, momentary camping spot. Right here next to these fields, under the beautiful shroud of shadiness. Whoa, is that a... Okay, at first I thought that was like a wasp nest, but I think it... It's a nest of some sort. Or is it just piece of the limb that used to be there? Tough to tell. I don't see anything buzzing around it. Transporting the chair back to my car. This park's hours are from 5 a.m. to 10.30 p.m. each and every day. Thank you for keeping it clean. With a nice view of the mountain range. That's gonna do it for today. If you're new here, please subscribe by doing so. Helps keep you in the loop and up to date on future uploads here on this channel. Take it a step further, ring that notification bell. And if you enjoyed this particular episode, give it a big thumbs up. Let's me know you care. I believe I might have ordered what I wanted wrong and did not state to get the, it's supposed to come with like a dip, something you, I believe it's called a pastrami dip. I might have just ordered the pastrami sandwich. I'll see you in the next video, the vlog. Could be wrong on that, but you know. I'll see you in the next video, the vlog. It's over. What's that big the foot? You fancy yourself a bit as a tennis player? Who knew?